All right, this entire video series is going to be dedicated to one simple premise. Setting up your FTP site, making changes to my pages, uploading them, download, upload, download, upload, download, FTP setup the right way inside of Dreamweaver. I'll share with you my simple, simple, logical, step-by-step -step techniques. So let's totally get started from scratch. On my desktop, I have nothing. I have nothing on my desktop. I'm going to Macintosh. It works the same way on Windows. I'm going to go to the file menu and create myself a new folder. There's my new folder on the desktop. Okay. New folder, not new file. Sorry, guys. Okay. Here's my new folder. Now, what I typically do is, as a web designer or website developer, I, on my desktop, have a folder called websites. Lowercase, no space. Now, understand something very important. URLs, web pages are case sensitive. So what I suggest you do is lowercase. If you have to use spaces, use hyphens because a hyphen to a web browser is equivalent to a space. So as an example, a website called My Dreamweaver website, you can put a hyphen in the middle of it. The browser, I'm sorry, the search engines are going to pick up that hyphen as a space, so it's going to work. Now, any file that goes on the web any file, HTML files, JPEG files, folders, directories, PNG files, movie files, it should be lowercase, no space. If you have to use a space, use a hyphen for search engine purposes. So with that said, I have a folder called website. Okay, I'm going to double click and open up that folder. Inside that folder, I'm going to make another new folder and I'm going to type in name of my website, which is simply called my dream. Weaver website. Now, this is a real life website, by the way, mydreamerwebsite.com. Now, I'm not going to put in the .com, but I need to put this information into Dreamweaver. So I'm, I don't like to reinvent the wheel here. So I'm going to copy that information. Command C, copy. Control C, Windows. So it's simply, simply, simply on my desktop, I have a folder called websites. Inside a website folder, I have another folder for my root directory. So as an example, I could have many folders inside of this website folder for my different clients. So it's very simple, very well organized, okay? So that's my setup. Now, I go and I launch Dreamweaver. Okay, so now I'm inside of Dreamweaver. I want to tell Dreamweaver to set up a new site, site new. So we're going to do a couple of things. We're going to tell Dreamweaver what my root directory is. We're also going to set up the FTP information to upload, download files, folders, multiple files, multiple folders to our web server. So we're going to do a real live server setup. Okay. Now, important stuff here. Okay. Where do you get this information from? Well, if you register with GoDaddy or register.com or bluehost.com, or a crocodile.com, whoever you registered your domain with, and whoever you host with, they would provide the FTP information for you. Okay? They would provide the FTP information. So before we get into the FTP, I just want to set up the site itself. So I simply, simply, simply go to the site. Anything about a site is on the site menu. We're going to make a new site. Brings up this dialog box. Now, I'm working in CS 5.5. The interface looks slightly different for CS 4. It's the same at CS 5, okay? But it's the same understanding. Understanding it's the same basic technique. Now, part of the reason I copied the name to my desktop so I can simply paste it here. Copy, paste, the oldest trick in the book. Why reinvent the wheel? If you can select it, you can affect it. Anything on Windows or Macintosh that you can select you can affect. Therefore, if I can copy it, I can paste it. Simple, simple, simple. Okay. Now, Dreamweaver needs to know where your file is kept. Okay. This is known as the root folder, site folder, root directory. So we're going to click right here. It's on these choices here. We're going to go to our desktop, and on the desktop is the website folder. We're going to double click that folder or open it up. Now, we're going to tell Dreamweaver that this is our root folder. 
what does it say right here? Choose root folder. This is going to be root folder. Not this. This is not going to be my root folder. This is my root folder. And I choose that. So I chose that as my root folder. So we'll set up the FTP later. But I just want to share with you, that's how you get started before you make web pages. Before you create the web pages themselves, make sure you set up a site directory. So again, we simply put the site, new site, and save. Okay, now, very important step here. I am working in classic mode. So what I want you to do here is change your workspace to classic. This way, it'll behave exactly the same way during this tutorial as it does on your computer at home or work. Okay, now to make it less confusing here, only palettes I want to see right now are my CSS palette, which I'm going to drag out from here, and my files palette, which I'm going to drag out to here. All the other palettes we don't need. It's going to be confusing for you. Simply close those palettes by clicking here. So, the CSS palette, in fact, we can technically right now close the CSS palette because I just want to focus on this. Now, here's my files window. My files window. I can open or close my files window from the window menu. Any Adobe product, as the palettes are always under the window menu, window menu, window menu, window files, the shortcut command shift F. So as an example, if you were to hit command shift F Macintosh, control shift F for Windows, you would bring up the files manager. Now, extremely important step here. Pay close attention to this. This is my default window. I want to expand the window by clicking right here. This is going to expand the window so I can see my local files and my server files. Right now, we haven't set up the server, but you'll still see the difference here. I'm going to click this icon right here. So I'm going to expand this window a little bit here so you can see what we're doing here. Okay, so here's my local files, my local folder, here's my remote files. Now, we haven't set up the FTP yet. How do I close this window? Command Shift F. Close this Control Shift F windows. And if I forget the shortcut, it's Window Files. Window Files. This is your file manager. Now, important step, if you were to close this window, what it does, it collapses under this size. So I suggest that you don't close the window. I suggest you open or close the window by using the shortcut key. I'm just going to make this a little smaller here. So Command Shift F closes, Command F opens. It's the same shortcut, Control Shift F for Windows. So that's your basic file setup. Catch me in the next video. I can assure you we're going to take this one step at a time, how to set up an FTP, how to upload pages, download pages, how to change existing pages, the whole shebang with FTP, which stands for File Transfer Protocol. So stay tuned.